Welcome to another informational video to help you pass the Science of Teaching Reading 293 test. This video is brought to you by TeacherSTR.com, the best resource to help you pass the STR test on your next try. Go ahead and check out our site that's filled with informational blog posts, as well as has our popular test products like our study guide, online course, and bundle, which includes both all together. You're preparing for your Teacher STR test, and have questions. Luckily, we have the answers, and in this video, we will share these answers to the most commonly asked questions about the Science of Teaching Reading 293 exam. For further information, go to teacherstr.com. What is the Science of Teaching Reading exam? The Science of Teaching Reading exam is a set of standards created by the State Board for Educator Certification, SBEC, that addresses the discipline and practice of teaching reading to young learners. Who has to take the STR? All educators who teach in any grade starting from pre-kindergarten through sixth grade need to take the Science of Teaching Reading exam. What is a passing score for the Science of Teaching Reading exam? A passing score for the test is 240. How much does the exam cost? The Science of Teaching Reading costs $136. How long does it take to get your results? Receiving your Science of Teaching Reading results depends on the day that you took the exam. However, total scores are received within 28 days and become available at 10 p.m. Central Time. Is the Science of Teaching Reading hard? We get this question all of the time. This exam, is five hours long. It includes 90 selected response questions and one constructed response question. The Science of Teaching Reading exam is extremely challenging and requires deep understanding of certain and specific content specifications. Can you retake the exam? Yes, candidates who do not pass the exam can retake it. How is the exam taken? The STR exam is taken using a computer-administered test called CAT at the Pearson Test Center. If I don't pass the exam, can I retake only the domains that I didn't pass? No, the Science of Teaching Reading exam is not administered by subtests. If a candidate does not pass the exam, they must retake the entire test. If I don't pass the STR exam, when am I eligible to retake the test? The current retake policy states that candidates must wait 30 days before they can retake the exam. How do I prepare for the exam? The best way to prepare for the Science of Teaching Reading exam is by taking the online course and study guide from teacherstr.com. Links in the description below. What are the four domains in the STR exam and how much is each domain worth? Domain number one is reading pedagogy and that accounts for 13% of the total exam. Domain two is reading development, specifically with foundational skills, that is 43% of the exam. Domain three is reading development, specifically with comprehension, and that is 24% of the total exam. And domain four is analysis and response, which is the constructed response question, and that accounts for 20% of the total exam. How many questions are on the Science of Teaching Reading exam? There are a total of 90 selected response questions, which are multiple choice questions, and one constructed response question, which is an essay question. What are the competencies of the Science of Teaching Reading? There are a total of four domains, and within each domain, there are a certain number of competencies. Each competency includes two major parts. First is competency statement. This is the knowledge and skills that an entry-level educator in Texas public schools needs to be able to know and also be able to do. Secondly is descriptive statements. This is the set of knowledge and skills eligible for testing. Let's discuss the competencies. Competency number one, is the foundations of science of teaching reading. Number two is the foundations of reading assessment. Competency number three, oral language foundations of reading development. Number four, phonological and phonemic awareness. Number five, 
print concepts and alphabetic knowledge. Number six, phonics and other word identification skills. Number seven, syllabication and morphemic analysis skills. Number eight, reading fluency. Number nine, vocabulary development. Number 10, comprehension development. Number 11, comprehension of literary texts. Number 12, comprehension of informational texts. And number 13 is analysis and response. Now understand here that number 13 or competency number 13 includes competencies one through 12 and is the constructed response question. How many scorers read each test? Two people independently read and score each candidate's STR test. If the two scores differ or are not aligned, additional scoring is constructed. Can I request a rescore? Yes, you can request a review for the written response section. For the selected response section of the STR test, no score recount can be accounted for. Does spelling and grammar count on the constructed response question? Spelling and grammar do not count toward the open-ended questions unless there are significant errors. Can I complete the constructed response question before the selected response questions? Yes, you can navigate through the exam freely and can complete the questions in the best possible order for you. We hope you found this video informational and for more further details about how to pass your STR test, visit us at www.teacherstr.com. TeacherSTR.com, the best place to help you pass the science of teaching reading tests.